I'm going I'm going somewhere. I don't know exactly where it's going, but I'm I'm going somewhere and I really want this to be a part of the story. The human aspect of it. There is fear, there is anxiety for people who are going through that. You're not crazy and you're not there's nothing wrong with you because you love to do something, you love to create, you love to make music, you love to to write, you love to paint, you love you love that part. And you want people to see it, but sometimes you don't necessarily want to talk to the people or you don't want to, it's, it goes against your nature to be reaching out and telling everybody what you do. I get it. I get it. So that we may push back from the gate. Please raise your seat back and your tray table to the full upright and lock. All right, we are here in Atlanta. I'm gonna go get my bags. Get to the Airbnb and get this thing started. So I'm out here, we out here in Atlanta right now. And when I say we, I must be speaking French because it's just me. But when you believe in something, you gotta get behind it. Not just with your words, but with your actions as well. See, a lot of times people will put stuff on social media and they'll let you see what they want you to see. Well, I want you to see it all. Yeah, you're gonna get the strength, the determination, the willingness to invest in oneself. Yeah, you're gonna get the courage, the audacity, and the creativity. But I also ain't finna lie and tell you that this shit don't come with nerves. That as soon as the plane touched down and I didn't know what the fuck I was doing or where the fuck I was at, the doubt didn't kick in. That I haven't asked myself 12 million times, what the fuck are you doing? But all these things come with doing something different. Anxiety, doubt, fear all come with being a boundary pusher. And through extensive self-discovery, I figured out what I want, and I want more. And to have more, you gotta give and do more. So I'm willing to walk in the face of the pins and needles, the goosebumps and the hair standing on the edge of my skin, because I know that's what it's gonna take to design the life that I want. I'd rather be anxious than regretful. I'd rather feel nerves than to not feel nothing at all. Ask yourself what you want. Are you aligning yourself with your life's purpose? Let's figure it out. From the moment I stepped in the Louder Milk Center, I was surrounded by creatives. People just to the left and to the right, producers, artists, singers. It was just a beautiful thing from the very jump. I was, I was overwhelmed. And this is my second time going. There's just nothing like diving head first into what it is that you love to do. Investing all of your energy completely and fully to your craft. I mean, I'm down here with legends, bumping shoulders with the likes of Jermaine Dupri and Shaka Zulu. And you see who I saw when I got off the plane. I ran into him again, too. Can we ever really be fearless? Like, is fearlessness, is that like really a thing? I would say no. It's just me and what do I know? But I don't think you could be fearless. I know certain things work scientifically. I'm a little familiar with how those chemicals work. Fight or flight. When that specific chemical hits you. All right, let me stop. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. But I do know when I feel afraid to do something, it's not just in my head. It should be in my whole body. Like pins and needles pulling me in the opposite direction of whatever it is I'm about to do. That's true fear. But I think what separates what people will call fearful from what people will call fearless is just that the people that we consider fearless feel that feeling and still walk into whatever it is that they're doing. We all feel that feeling. But it's about what you do with that feeling. Do you use it as an indicator of what's going to grow you? Or do you use it as an indication of when you should run like most people do? Yeah, I know I'm outside now. Fucking up the continuity and whatnot. But if you're doing what most people do, you're going to get what most people get. I just want you to stay charged.
got fucking toothpaste. Bro, oh, day one was crazy. Mad exhausted, in a good way. Um, I exerted a lot of energy performing on the street and figuring out ways to start conversation with new people and, and introducing myself and trying to make the best impression and, and marketing and, and the internal struggle with myself. And I don't want to touch on that a little bit because I think that's like that's talked about less. But there was there was there was even a time where it was like I just kind of just shut down. I used it as a way to kind of like go charge my phone or something like that. But it's like I, I'll get in my head like, oh, am I making the best impression that I can? Oh, I wonder what people think when they look at me. Oh. I wonder if I'm, if I'm, if I'm this or if I'm that, or am I even important enough for do the things that I have to offer? Do they even matter? And it's, it's quite, it's, it's quite debilitating in, until I reframe those ways of thinking and frame them into, you're just excited, you know that you have something good to offer. And that's the way I do it. I mean, teach his own, and you have to kind of figure out what it is that drives you to get you back out there. Day one was crazy. Can't wait for day two. I'm starting to get in my groove. Relationships are important. I pray that you help me to bring all of that into today. That you help me to take all of that to the next level. What we do is important. And I'm all here for it. Uh, I don't. I won't run from it. Put me in the game. Amen. Take this with you today. You're not out to be validated by anybody else. If you're really doing something important. You're just out to show people how important it is. The people that's going to fuck with you is going to gravitate towards it. The people that ain't going to fuck with you ain't going to fuck with you anyway. You're not out to be validated. Stop looking for somebody to give you that, oh yeah, it's good. You don't need that for nobody. If you know it's good, if it's important, it is exactly that. But keep pushing, push it, and you're going to get to the people who need to see that shit. So as you can see, there's a lot that goes into the brights that y'all see on social media. I don't just wake up on some charged shit. I got to do things to make sure that my battery is at a sufficient level. So after my morning routine and sufficiently charging my battery, I got myself together and headed back down to the Loudermill Center for day two of some networking, panels, and classes to help up my game and my craft. Now first up was a masterclass for YouTube. Now I was really excited about this because all social media platforms have their own language. And I speak YouTube a little bit, but I can definitely be more fluent in it. So I was definitely looking forward to what they could show me to how to enhance my performance on YouTube. After that, I headed to a panel. It's, this is something that this is something that I try to tell people and people are like, well, it's not that easy. No, it's that easy. It's that easy. Stop internalizing these things. We are creatives. We are alive. We are blessed to be able to be in this room together. We are blessed to be able to wake up every day with the ability to create our blessings for ourselves. Slow down enough for your blessings to catch up to you. Make sure that you speak to people. Make sure that you treat people with respect. When I go to shows or I do events, Security knows me from the volunteers to the security to the stage manager to everybody. I talk to everyone. There are, like I said, 80 events that are going on at this festival. Please talk to the curators. These are people who have traveled from different places. There's a UK mixer. These are people who are from London who have traveled all the way over here. There's a Canadian hip hop show. There's women in hip hop shows. There's the Milk and Cookie show. 
There's so many events here. Please talk to these people. Do not just go to an event and leave with nothing. You know, if you if you are not making a new connection uh, for your purpose every single day, you have wasted that entire day. If you know me, you already know I ended up right where the creators was at. In the midst of the creativity is exactly where I belong. So you know it wasn't too long before I found my first cipher. The first of many ciphers to be exact. Direction that we going in is even right. All we got is hustle, nothing to show for it, but see the light. We only gon' constantly keep it tight. Then we'll move protection for life. It can possibly be the night. Preparation for the opportunity equals success. As far as savers, wanna see the best. I need to see to it that we do it. Even I gotta beat on my chest against my nature. Cause I'm humble, but the clothes might be eating the less. And bro, I'm trying to feed my family till we leave in the mess. So any obstacle ain't even a test. Less, bro, you can even hear the heave in my breath. The running, you ain't felt nothing. It's like the feet in my chest. From every nerve in my to every beat that I bless You get my teeth, I tell it, my energy when I say Put the 37.2 trillion cells in the body Got 37.2 trillion reasons to bless Believe it from where it's repeated You gon' see if you press You lookin' like an evil wing And no more need to suppress Your highest self After the festivities and the classes I headed over to East Atlanta For the Psy High to Chris Bar Wars I ran into different breeds of MCs From all around the country Advance when I pass the dice. How many y'all fuck with real hip hop? Yeah. How many y'all fuck with bars though? Yeah. So then you know what the fuck I do, right? Yeah. Hey, run that shit. Call Katrina the meaner of all demeanors. We built them like altar team. No altar make them true altar with bullets. Go through your pizza. Any sign of the peace side. Double inside, peace side. Niggas throw that I'm east side. Yeah. Yeah. Now I see why I'm too cold. I see why I'm in a food cold. So due to a confusion on my end, I thought Bar Wars was an open mic. I wanted to perform, but I couldn't. So I had to figure out some way to get off before the end of the night. So usually what I do in these circumstances, I just go outside with my Bluetooth speaker and perform. And if a crowd gathers, they gather. But tonight, I just so happen to pull a couple of people aside and let them get these bars. Mm. You hire yourself, offend the feeble, so they feed and you stress. Mm. Pay no attention, it's people you lead and bleed for the rest. Facts. It's funny how our seasons can lead us from legions of pests to climbing mountains out the water to the peak from the crest. Oh, mm. uh, I swear this shit is so hard. But for, for, for somebody like me, that shit is, shit is complicated. To be on for such a large period of time, like I'm not used to it. I'm not used to having to be on to continuously have like that conversation with myself. Like no self, you you don't, you don't have to prove anything to anybody. But at the same time, you don't never know what's your shot. And then try not to beat your own ass when you feel like you may have an opportunity and that you didn't do anything about it. You know, it's, it's, it's fucking hard when you for real serious about this. I don't know, at least for me. I can only speak for myself. This shit is hard. But, in hindsight, it's always worth it. When you win it, you can feel like I got, I'm about to have gray hairs come out my booty hole. Like, it's, when you win it, it's, it's nerve wracking in a bitch. But in hindsight, it's always worth it. Always. So there I was at the end of another night, miles away from home, all by myself in the city of Atlanta, down here for the sole purpose of making something happen and making something shape within my career. Chasing my dreams, chasing and investing in the things that I believe in, looking to spread my message. I can't even explain the feeling, it's unparalleled. I'm back at the cut, the Airbnb. Say. Mm -hmm. you feel me? Day 
three Friday. Motivation ain't a pump up speech. You don't get motivation from watching Eric Thomas a, a YouTube videos of a nigga screaming. Like, do it, do it, do it. Why you that help? That help activate what's already there. Like, if you watch my 60 second videos, my 60 second charges, it's a beautiful thing that you watch it. And I hope you get something out of it. But that's only to activate what's already there in you. A game plan is needed to be motivated. A game plan is needed. A core set of beliefs is needed. Morals is needed. Knowing where you're going. Like, that's needed. Because if you just... If you're just running around putting out fires, if you're just tackling each each next exclamation point that pops up, demotivation is going to happen real quick. Because you're not going to know what the fuck to do. If you don't have nothing to fall back on, that's automatic. That belongs to you on the inside. So you can listen to a video. You could, you could meditate. You could talk to God all you want. But... Things can only add to what you already have going on, and that takes work. That takes sitting down and and looking at yourself, sitting down and writing, sitting down and being sure of what you want, and pivoting when things don't work. You know, and knowing how to pivot. I'm learning all this shit on the fly. You think you charged up, you pumped up, and then an hour later it's like, I got a rock. It takes a game plan. It takes it takes a solid foundation to stand on. It takes you knowing what you want. All those things are important and it all fits in. But just motivation, just somebody screaming at you, just just something on the outside of you telling you you can do it. That's only one part of the picture. The music, y'all. It comes down to the music. You have to have your balance of you know, are you discoverable? Is it the brand there? Is everything, does it look right? Does it sound good? Um, you have to find a balance between, I mean, how many times have you been on Spotify and you're like, who is this person? And you go to about, you swipe over and it's like 400,000 monthly listeners. You're like, I've never heard of this person, but this is fire. And then you see the tours, like, okay, the dates. But then you also have, you see somebody perform and you're like, yo, this dude is fire. And then you go to their Spotify and it's like 50, Monthly listeners, it's, it's me, but um, <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you gotta, there's, there's, there's a balance there, and I think more than ever now with, with the way the industry's moving in music and being discoverable, is, is, you know, you don't even necessarily need the million dollar videos and stuff like that. Just having great records on Spotify and finding the curators to turn your music up to get you in these markets so you can create the analytic, the analytics to find what people are listening to you at that can create the path or, the, or the, the framework for you to go outside of your market or even do the big shows in your market. So right now, uh, if you're in the music business, and I figure most of you guys in this room are here, because you're in the music business in some shape, form, or fashion, it's the best time ever. It's the best time ever um, to build your business. You ask a question, very logical question, like how are we gonna get this thing done? And, could we, how, and then be like, make it happen. That would be the answer. Like the answer was literally that day. And you would listen to that and be like, yeah. Got it. You know? And, and that's really Which what I'm saying right now. Like, that's kind of, it's kind of what I'm saying to you right now. Like, it's, that, you want to help make it happen. That's the help. Like, if you are really an entrepreneur. What was the biggest example of that, right? Even though he goes on tour, sell an album, he did the dollar in a dream like for two, three summers. Fans pull up for a dollar, let's, let's enjoy my original music. Like you just have to get people to buy into who you are, but also live that shit out every single day. And don't be scared to connect with other people and build all together because we need to do it. Understand your why factor. If you want to get the Grammys, it's all cool and all, but you can make a living just doing your own music and that's it. And being cool with 50,000 fans who support you, your family, and create your generational wealth on the opposite side by real estate. Like, look at you what you're doing this thing for. Get down to your why. Just know that.
So after I seen the panels that I wanted to see for the day, I had to go feed my belly. So I left and headed over to the West End to this place called To See These Raw Reality. And let me tell you, it changed my life. If you ever in Atlanta, please go try the Poonani rap. It'll blow your freaking mind. With a full belly, I came back and networked until close. Yo, so I don't know what happened, but it's like something snapped, man. I've, I've been open, I've been honest. I've been willing to initiate conversation, just to reach out. And how I talked about earlier, like looking to see what I can offer. And it's, it's been crazy. I've met a lot of people, made a lot of good, genuine connections that I'm going to follow up on because it's not just, huh, 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 huh. Take this, huh, I do this, huh, huh, huh. What can you do for me? Like adding value, man, that's, that's the key. That's the key, it take away anxiety, it take away, you know, it take away wondering about your purpose, like, you know, the fake smile, you know, and fake handshakes, like it's real when you may have something that you can offer somebody else. Like that's real, it's genuine. If you want something, the reward for which you which you accomplish should be more work. And I think my bandwidth has expanded since I've been out here. Like just from talking to people and being honest and seeing what I can do for others and you know the, the feedback that I've been getting for you know my music and and you know the connections that I made like and, and all the talking and all the networking like my bandwidth is getting bigger. But I gotta continue just like you just like you break break down your muscles so that you build better muscles. I gotta continue to work so that my bandwidth continues to expand. Because if I slack on the work, then just like you lose muscle when you start working out, my bandwidth is gonna shrink. And it's only gonna be so much that I'll be able to endure, you know, marketing wise, networking wise, talking to people wise, jumping out of my comfort zone wise, before that thing kicks in where it's like, ooh, reward yourself by sitting down and watching some TV. Now reward yourself with more work. Cause that's what's gonna get you the farthest. So putting what I just preached into practice, I headed over to East Atlanta for some more networking after a long day. Cold, lynch, but will evolve. Kent trails, hell. I'm sick of this city smog. And now I see God in reverse, we getting dogged, wild pig. That's the reason I'm still a hog, hammer. I run from the slammer, I'm still a pog. Due to me not having shit, I'm still in hog. Need an outlet to energies, we still in charge. Cause the dream from a seed is to get the ball from a fetus. Look what they feed us, we built the fall, bleed us. Got all of our real ones locked in the building walls, so they bleed us. All of our leaders, they killed them all, cleat us. Well, I had a dream. Hell no, I wish I had a beam. Nigga, cause I'm ready to fight fire with fire prior to firemen who sprayed my niggas. I'ma spray them niggas. I'm just a victim of the struggle. Who they depicted is the picture of the muscle. We pick up picket signs, but we have forgotten our cotton picking mine. Man, we came from picking cotton. Do you remember the time, nigga? Oh, but you Michael Jackson. Oh, I am Michael Blackson. Oh, man, I can't get jiggy with this shit. I'm biggy with this shit, cause I'm ready to die. I dream death like a Freddy surprise. Who said he's alive? I'm trying to give you advice, city. A gamble. I'ma give you the nice city. No hood riots. We should go to the white cities and let them burn. Sometimes I feel like I'm Usher. Sometimes I feel like I'm Buster. When they come in the rushes, ain't no niggas gonna fuss us. Ain't no bleed in the street, no. We say a word and we get beat in the street. Whoa. Go to jail and report to the PO. That might be the reason why we poll. I was a little familiar with Nick Grant before this night, but after seeing that boy live, I had to step my pen game up.
The crib was definitely represented in Atlanta for sure, and it was good to finally be able to link with Elza, Detroit, the Inktown shit. That nigga really is like Art Nas, A1 lyricism all the way. Can't wait to work with him. Doing donuts and sip and grab the coffee with him for breakfast. This shit, I'm right to make you fall up and just to fight. Take off on a nigga, make him think he just the flight. Shouldn't ignore me then. I can trade lines with Scorpion. Open chat, I'm not the walking Just as dorky twin, and I ain't got it locked without sticking the talking in. Cause I got this in the bag like a pump and coffee when she go work for Hustler. Who they wrote about it on the Everybody I saw perform that night at the Earl gave me mad inspiration to get my pen game together. I came out of there with a whole new resolve for my creativity. I was very inspired by the time I left. I did a little bit more networking, and I just headed back to the Airbnb for the night. It was like 4 o'clock in the morning. So go hard or go home, and I went hard until I passed out back at the Airbnb. So last day, learned a lot of shit. Learned a lot of things about my craft. Learned a lot of things about what I need to do moving forward. Learned a lot of things about myself and what I'm willing to do. Learned a lot of things about the things that I, I should be doing and I'm not doing. Learned a lot about myself on the inside out. Learning who I am. The things that I'm willing to walk into no matter how fearful I am. The anxiety I'm willing to put up with. I've learned a lot of things. But most importantly is to be okay with who you are. And exactly as it is. So this was it. I caught a lift ride downtown so I could do a couple of touristy things. Go to the CNN building, go into the Cartoon Network store, get a couple of things for the kids. But after that, I was headed to the Georgia Fright Depot so I can catch a little bit of the festival before I had to catch my flight. I forgot to mention this whole time I've been tapping in with my dog Jordan Hill. He from the city too, but we first met here down in Atlanta. I learned quite a bit Give from me, what's, what's your most pivotal experience since you've been down here? Uh, my most pivotal experience, man. Uh, really, really it comes like every day. Like, don't get me wrong, I picked up a lot of knowledge, but stepping outside of that that comfort zone, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people look at me and they'll go, you know I'm saying? oh bro, you ain't scared to talk to nobody, this is that and third, but you know what I'm saying? Not being scared to talk to somebody and knowing what to say to somebody are two totally different things, you know? So that's really been like every every day has just been adding on, adding on, you know what I'm saying? And overall, stepping into the unknown, you know what I'm saying? We really just talked about it, you know what I'm saying? Learn so like what's so far the biggest thing that you've learned? Uh, the biggest thing that I learned that it takes a team. It takes a team, no matter what is done, you can't do it yourself. It takes a team, man. Uh, and there are different team building strategies, and it's a lot of trial and error. Everybody that you start with, you're not gonna finish with. You know what I'm saying? So that's definitely what I learned. Me being a damn near self-managed artist, you know what I'm saying? I thought I could do it all myself. And I lose track of time, and I beat myself up just to realize that the greats, they made it clear, like, you know what I'm saying? This is no one-man record crew. Jordan Hill Music on all social media. <laughs> Make sure you follow me. Go to my website, jordanhillmusic.com. Shouts out to Bryce the Third, Battery Bars. Ooh! For the shit that I'm about to do. I'm in my bag like a Joey, homie, a kangaroo. I get it poppin' like Uncle Lou back in 92. It's time to show these whack niggas what a savage is. I need the crowd to say what else for my ad list. I'm in the lab like a chemist cooking the magic tricks. I'm an activist, they just lean on the activists. I chose college, my homies fed up the packages. Back in sex fifths, we never shot to the sex fifths. We need to study in this Uber for less of men. We bound in the communities, they ain't let us in. A daughter better than life, be a black, the latest trending. Till be a black, that you stuck the cup to the lion's den. Hit up my plug, I need a hundred of them pronto. I flew down 85 in a 2018 Bronco. I go to any hood, pull up to the projects, pop the trunk, it's all hoods, cause these kids need knowledge. Now that's dope and I quote, you turn their mamas to fiends, I gotta give them. Kicking it with Jordan was cool as hell. We even got an opportunity to combine our brands and put his Young Fedora Flow Fridays and my battery bars together. Boy, I'm an iron giant like the movie. Ain't no seeing through me, my nigga. This God engineering. Voice is perfect. Ain't no need for the reverb and melodyne, nigga, cause God engineering. I thought of commitment. Educated like a misfit. Baby, I'm ready. I'm focused. I'm hungry. I want it. All created in his image, but very few of us are chosen. Uh, 
This shit like pushing and Drake's at the lyrics, I'm pushing and carry a Drake. Uh, I'm vegetarian in here, but I kill any beef because I know it's a steak. Uh, body back your favorite artist here on Erie, Michigan. You pick a lake. Uh, boy, I'm superior. Fly to Ontario. I might just play this for Drake. Yeah. Oh, and even if you had a girl cow, this you could never mistake. Uh, the obstacle for me to wait. Uh, how I never run away. Uh, I come from the city, I look in the sky and see clouds. I imagine the sun go. Okay. I come from the mentality, table will begin you, but now I'm going where I won't go. Right. You know a couple screw loose niggas, many triggers, dog, it resemble a gun store. Bah. Make a difference for I'm done for. Hey. Going Hail Mary's where the nuns go. Okay. If I fumble that with then I'll double back and I'm coming back, but never front door. Right. I'm ten toes, even if a limb goes, then I'm only left with one toe. So that was that. As the plane took off in the runway of Hurstville Jackson International, I couldn't help but to reflect upon everything I had learned. About myself, my career, the hustle, all the new strategy I was finna employ once I touched down, the momentum I would keep going. I was coming home with a whole new vigor. But even more so, I felt different. Last A3C I came to was with my mans. This time, all I had was me. I'm now that person who will go to different ends of the country to pursue his passion alone. I've rubbed shoulders with strangers until they became accomplices. I've spent my hard earned chips as an investment in myself and threw myself in the heart of the action as a way to recoup it. We just getting started. And this trip was a necessary experience for my growth. A necessary notch on my belt and a pivotal battery in my back to prepare me for what's coming. I can feel it coming too. I just pray to stay charged through it all. Stay charged, y'all.